the next topic is typography and we are going to split that uh, into two sections because that's uh, really wide and I want to make uh, movies shorter so it's easier to just uh, rewind and find them so the first one is going to be uh, font sizes and the second video is going to be how to register and apply custom fonts so what we can see here let's just uh, open the inspector here and what you can see here is the typography is definitely repeating and for most of the users uh, tilewind is kind of hard to set up to reuse the styles they think that uh, you cannot reuse it and then you need to write it uh, each time uh, style for each element and that's really wrong because we we will reuse it and I'm going to show you how but let's first uh, see what we have it have here so this is the h1 and this is also the h1 or if you don't want to have two h1s on the page you can add it as h2 and then you can apply the style of uh, h1 and then we have the h2 here and here and here and also there is a definitely h3 yeah you can see that uh, this is h4 based on the sizes this is uh, h3 okay perfect then we have uh, h4 sorry this can be h4 this can be h5 and probably this can be h6 as well and then this is a paragraph and also uh, we want to make it uh, fluid and not just to change it on each breakpoint so what we are going to do here we are going to use the tilewind plugin that's called the fluid type plugin uh, and it's made by the david hellman and you can check his uh, repository as well and i'm going to include both of them inside the tutorial the documentation let's now jump to play tilewind css so i can uh, show you how to set it up and what you can see here uh, we have the classes and what we can see here as well this is how to set it up and this is where the entire magic is happening and let's uh, dive into this one so i can explain you in details what is happening here so if we resize it you can see that the fonts are changing the size and uh, here we are requiring the plugin and we are calling the plugin here and here are the plugin settings and what you need to set up is a font size font size minimum and the maximum and this is going to be ratio on the minimum size ratio on the maximum size this is screen minimum size and this is screen maximum size and then these are the units and we can also add the prefix as well for example if we go back here you can see the text excel but that's the tilewind basic what you can do is you can add fluid here and since we added the fluid it's not uh, it's not uh, taking effect on this one because these are the tilewind native now and let's add just on this one and you can see now that only the top one is changing and the rest are the tilewind defaults let's uh, this is the default settings and let's change it to something uh, that we can easily digest and so i can explain you easier so i set it to pixel because it will be much easier to understand it then let's on the mobile this is going to uh, and let's just for the exercise uh, do this sorry 15 20 and then let's 
1.1 let's do this like 2 so we see what is happening here just a second ah, sorry this is too much I think maybe this one will be easier to understand yes and uh, so we set the minimum to be 400 pixels maximum 1400 then uh, I'm keeping the ratio on the min and the max the same because this is just to explain uh, how it's working but uh, usually you will have the bigger ratio on the maximum because on the desktop you want to have a much uh, bigger contrast in the font sizes and on the mobile you don't have that much space so you're narrowing it so probably it's going to be something like this or maybe ratio like this but uh, let's do it like this so it's easier to calculate as well and then you will see that this is a base and on the zero the multiplier doesn't do anything because uh, because zero uh, multiplied by 1.1 doesn't give you anything it stays zero and the next one will be let me just show you like this so the first multiplier is lg and if we open the lg and you will see what's happening under the hood this is the clamp calculation but let's go to the computed and let's check it here okay let's do it like this so I don't need to resize it too much as well perfect uh, font family height let me just check where the font size is we need the uh, LG perfect yes 22 so uh, if we check it here it's going to be 20 let's open the calculator so 20 multiplying by 1.1 is 22 and this is what we get as a value so the first one is multiplied by one and then the next one will be multiplied again by and this is the value that we'll, we will get for the xl and let's check if i'm correct yes that's the number and then the second one the 2xl that's this one is going to be multiplied again by 1.1 1 .1, and we are getting 26 yeah 6.2 and that's it and now I hope you understand uh, how the multiplier is uh, is behaving and what's doing and also the small and x small is going in the negative value so this is going to uh, reduce the size instead of enlarge it and now you're probably asking yourself okay but how can we actually reuse this one because you're still applying the classes uh, here to each h1 h2 so let's just uh, first clean it up okay And then let's apply like this so you can see that uh, it's changing on multiple times and here we are going to do h1 and then class of h1 as well because for example if you have uh, h2 or h3 and you want to have the size of the h1 instead of changing to h1 you can just apply the class of the h1 and we are going to add text and then 9xl perfect uh, sorry 9xl yes and you can see that uh, 
all H1s are now styled. Yeah. And let's just check it's resizing as well. Let's then do that for the H2 and for the H3 as well. Okay. Uh, we need to change the values. Let's, for example, do this so you can see the difference. And then uh, let's add to this uh, H1 class of sorry class of H1. And you can see that we have H1 and H2, but they're all the same sizes as well. And uh, I'm going to post this uh, code snippet, so you can just uh, copy it and you can open the window and just uh, go here and paste it and uh, everything will work outside of the box right away. Thank you for watching and subscribe and in next, next video we are going to cover how to get the custom typography as well.